I think that any kind of top list is subjective. I feel like top lists consist of people's individual opinions. But with this in mind, there are still certain games that are of substantially different quality that are of a completely different caliber to others. And then there are games that are absolute trash. Both of these statements cannot be contested. So when I was searching for a list of the best gacha games because I wanted to do a video on it, I wanted to see other people's, other journalists, other content creators thoughts. I wanted to see their opinions. I wanted to see their list to see how they differed from mine. I came across this list on Droid Gamers. This is actually one of the top Google results when searching for the best gotcha games online. And the list of games is an absolute joke. Not, not all of them, granted, not entirely. Some of the games listed here are valid games, but a couple of them, especially their number one choice, leaves me thinking to myself, how much were you fucking paid for this article? Before we go any further, I just want to take a moment here to thank all of our incredible patrons. You guys allow me to continue to play games like this for a living, and I can never truly repay that kindness. Also, if you're interested, I stream over on Twitch every single weekend. You should totally come on over and join me. So, Droid Gamers made a blog post titled The Best Android Gacha Games. And the image at the top of the screen, the thumbnail, is Ark Knights, followed by Genshin Impact, followed by, I believe, Raid Shadow Legends, because I think that's Ronda Rousey. Gacha games are getting increasingly popular as time goes on, but what are the best Android gacha games? We've played through a bunch of them over the years, so we've got a pretty good idea of which gachas are worth your time. Gacha games are essentially character collecting games where you summon a range of heroes to place onto your team. While some gacha games stray away from the usual system, many rely on limited time character banners. Take a look at our favorites, you may find a new gacha to play. Now the first game that they include here, which is... <laughs> I feel like this game sets the tone for the entire list is Raid Shadow Legends. A darker take on the genre than most of the other games on this list, yet they include Ark Knights in the list. Raid Shadow Legends lets you enter a gloom fantasy world of orcs and vikings and all manner of other grizzled warriors. The fighting is fun, there's an almost incomprehensible number of characters to collect, and there's a massive player base as well. While true, there is an enormous player base, I really don't know why. I have played this game, I have a dedicated video of this game up on this channel. It's part of my worst gotcha ever series. Raid Shadow Legends is not free to play friendly at all, and is actually one of the most boring gotcha games that I have ever played. I don't know how they continue to make tens of millions of dollars every month, I don't know how these people sell out and include these kinds of games in their lists, but I guess, you know, money. Who really cares about integrity when, you know, you get money thrown in your in your face, right? Next up, Genshin Impact. Th this one is actually valid. Genshin Impact, like or dislike the game, love or hate it, this is a valid game to include in a list of the best Android gacha games, easily. Genshin Impact is arguably the most popular gacha game at this current time. The loyal fan base keeps growing, and for good reason. A lot of gacha games should take a few notes from the overall gameplay in Genshin Impact. No, no, the gameplay in Genshin Impact isn't that great. If we want other gacha games to take inspiration from Genshin Impact, it should not be for its gameplay. Its world, the depth of certain characters. Definitely not content. In terms of content, this game has nothing to do with endgame really. But gameplay, no. Games that have better gameplay than Genshin Impact. Punishing Grey Raven. Honkai Impact. The upcoming Zenless Zone Zero. Wuthering Waves. There are a plethora of other games with significantly better combat gameplay than Genshin Impact. And that might hurt some of your guys' feelings, but it's the honest truth. It's rare to come across a gacha game that has a fully open world, which is what Genshin does brilliantly. That is very true. Next up, Blue Archive. So far, decent looking list with the exception of what is arguably a paid <laughs> insert of Raid Shadow Legends. 
Blue Archive is a stylish gacha game that features a wide variety of cute anime style characters. Take part in 3D battles with gorgeous animations as you try out a range of unique abilities. Whether you choose to focus on the engaging combat or you want to explore the storyline, there's plenty to do in Blue Archive, and honestly, that is not untrue. I don't think the combat is necessarily very engaging. I think the combat's okay. I think the storyline is definitely pretty good. I think the characters are very aesthetically appeasing. I think the game overall is a very good game. So I understand why this is definitely included and I completely and wholeheartedly agree with it. Then we have Arknights. As anyone who watches this channel should know, Arknights is my number one favorite gacha game. So naturally, I am totally on board having this game included. Arknights is a well-known entry in the gacha genre. While many gacha games decline after a while, Arknights certainly hasn't. And that's true, for the most part, its earnings are pretty stable. There are inclines, there are declines periodically, depending on which banners are currently available. I feel like that's the case for really any of the, the mainstream gacha games. The loyal fan base keeps growing and there's no sign of it stopping anytime soon, also true. The character designs are amazing, also true, with the game set in a futuristic post-apocalyptic world. Immerse yourself in the brilliant storyline, also true or battle it out strategically in tactical combat. What they didn't note here was the tactical combat is very difficult. So much so that whenever a new event comes out and I get stuck on the eighth mission, the battle, the encounter, I navigate on over to Echo Gen's channel and follow Echo Gen's guide. And I'm not embarrassed, I'm not ashamed to admit that. Then we have Eversoul. See, I did a video on Eversoul. I feel like Eversoul is a fun game, Eversoul is a good game, Eversoul is not a great game, Eversoul should not be included in this list. Given this list actually came out in the middle or the, I think it was like the second or third week of January and Eversoul had just launched, I feel like, and I'm not calling you out for including this for this reason, but I feel like the inclusion of Eversoul was definitely paid for. Kakao reached out to a lot of creators, a lot of websites, to include their game in various different lists, to do dedicated videos, to do pre-roll integrations, so it would not surprise me if they reached out to Droid Gamers as well to insert Eversoul into their list. And that is perfectly fine. Don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on you for doing that if that is the case. And again, I'm not calling you out if you did that as well. I'm just saying it's plausible that they did, especially because Eversoul, while a fun, good game, is not narrowly as good as Arknights, as Blue Archive, as Azure Lane, as Punishing Grey Raven, as Genshin Impact, as Honkai Impact, as so many others. Eversoul is one of the latest gacha games at the moment, and it's fantastic. Take care of your town, interact with the characters you collect, and battle against enemies in exciting combat. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> the exciting. It's an idle game. <laughs> what kind of <laughs> what kind of exciting combat are we talking about here? The kind of combat where you let you just watch it happen? That that's the kind of exciting combat we're talking about here because like don't get me wrong, Eversoul, beautiful game. Honestly kind of funny as well. It's combat is far from exciting, is anything but. Each character has a set of unique abilities that are accompanied by gorgeous animations. Even the storyline is great, with each cutscene being voiced, a rarity for some gotcha games. How how can it be a rarity for only some gacha games? It should be a rarity for most gacha games. If it's rare, then that means it doesn't really happen. You can't have something not really happen in only some games. It doesn't make sense. Then we have Marvel Strike Force. Admittedly, I've never played this, but I admittedly have noticed a very large decline in terms of active players and earnings. So that should be evident what people genuinely or generally think of the game. When Marvel Strike Force was announced, we weren't all that psyched about yet another mobile Marvel game. Fortunately, it turned out to be the best darn gacha on the platform? Dude, that is, that is a grandiose statement to make. The best gacha RPG on the platform. Wow. Very few people, I think, can relate to that statement. It's stunning visually with our favorite superheroes coming to life in a way that few other mobile games have managed. More importantly though, you can play it entirely for free and not miss- More importantly, you can play this gacha game for free, like every other gacha game. Wow, how innovative this free to play new feature is. Then we have Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Admittedly another game I haven't played, but 
I do know is actually kind of popular still. If you're a fan of the Dragon Ball Z franchise, you may have already heard about this game. If not, then welcome to Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Play through a wide variety of addictive puzzle games with brilliant 2D art. You'll spot familiar faces from the franchise as you experience a brand new storyline. So, admittedly, I feel like we're like three for three thus far. Three that are actual good picks, and then three that are two of which are probably paid integrations and one of which just really doesn't make sense. Then we have Goddess of Victory Nikkei. I feel like this might be paid as well, but at the same time, Nikkei is actually a very good game, I think, at its core. Not very free to play friendly, but still a very fun game with stunning characters, actual decent quality gameplay, and a very good narrative. Nikkei took the world by storm when it first released, mainly due to obvious reasons. What obvious reasons? Fan service aside, it's an incredibly popular gacha game as of right now. The overall aesthetic is beautiful, as the game is set in a world inspired by science fiction. Recruit a wide variety of characters to use as you take part in engaging combat with brilliant battle effects. Honestly, not at all untrue. Next up, we have Clash Royale. I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I do not think Clash Royale is, is really uh, comparable to any other gacha game in this list nor is it of comparable quality to the vast majority of popular gacha games. Build a powerful battle deck as you battle it out in fast-paced combat against your opponents. Clash Royale is a game developed by the same creators behind the popular mobile game Clash of Clans. If you played Clash of Clans, you'll recognize some familiar faces as you play through Clash Royale. Collect and upgrade a wide range of cards as you climb up the leaderboard in league and global tournaments. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. This doesn't look like a game I'd ever play. Doesn't look like a game I'd include, especially when you've included things like Dragon Ball Z, Dokkan Battle, Nikkei, Blue Archive, Genshin Impact, Arknights, and then finally, Hero Wars. I want you guys to know that in February, I actually did a dedicated video on this just a couple days ago. I was reached out to by the studio behind Hero Wars to covered this in a dedicated form in January, in February, and then they want me to cover it again in March, even though I talked shit about them and the kind of suspect behavior that they've exhibited. But this right here, this is 100% paid for. They reached out to everyone to cover their game over the course of the last three months. There is no way that Hero Wars, which is something I've spent over $100 in, I've invested over 30 hours in over the course of the last month and a half, is worthy of being included in any top list ever. This game is one of the least free to play friendly games I've ever played, is incredibly basic, is not fleshed out at all, has no narrative, is an idle game, has poor quality graphics, poor quality waifus, advertises itself as something that it isn't, and is backed by a studio that scams the content creators that it tries to create working relationships with. This is at the bottom of the barrel for me. This right here is one of multiple reasons that this list is an absolute joke. The other being, what was it? Rise of Clash of Clan or whatever the clan game was above. Raid Shadow Legends. Ugh. Hero Wars is a mobile gacha RPG where you can collect a plethora of characters that each have their own set of skills. Wow, that is truly groundbreaking to see in a gacha game. Battle against the Arch Demon as well as a variety of enemies as you play through PvE mode or challenge yourself in the, I know it says fast paced PvP mode, but PvP mode in the game is horrible. Upgrade your characters to assemble a powerful team that can help blast your way through the exciting content. And get stuck at, I think like chapter nine is where I'm at, after spending $100 after upgrading my characters to a point that would take months or more for a free to play player. I'm stuck at like the halfway point and I have not been able to progress for weeks. This list, the fact that there are lists like this, at the top of the search engines is laughable and it, it is directing people to the wrong games. These are not, well, some of these admittedly, games like Dokkan Battle, like Nikkei, like Ark Knights, like Blue Archive, Genshin Impact, these games, okay, fine, yeah. But half your list is full with absolute shit. These are games that we should not be promoting and the fact that the top of the search engine is populated by garbage games like that is why gacha games aren't taken seriously 
and gacha gamers are made fun of. Now, if you're looking for a new gacha to play, I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now. One featuring a list of every gacha game coming this month, the other featuring a gacha game coming later this year that looks absolutely incredible.